Morning guys, I'm just setting up here on this beautiful lake, lovely carp lake and bream and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to plummet the depth for where you're going to fish, how to actually plummet your float so that you can fish the bottom accurately and correctly. Um, it's going to be a bit awkward because of course I've got this in my hand so you'll have to bear with me as I move back and forth and through the cycles, okay? So first thing I'm going to do is put you up right like that and rest you down in here. There we go. There you are. So I'll put you there for a minute. And what I'll show you is, if I bring this in, I've got a simple little canal waggler on here, yellow tip. Now it says it takes two VB and I've got it locked in place with two little float stops, two rubber float stops. There you are if you can see them. Right. And all I've got the depth set at the moment is that, about a foot and a half. So what we do is you get your plummet. Right. Now bear in mind I've probably got the wrong hook length on for this but never mind. Put your hook through the eye of the plummet like that bring it through and then hook it into the cork bottom just like that right so your line is passing through it and hooked in like that right and all you want to do say I want to fish off this margin here right is drop it in and watch your float now if I drop that in there if you can see that I don't know but my float is disappearing so it's deeper than what I've got it set for so what you want to do, bring it in and just keep going up the depth in a few inches at a time. So if you can see, that's how much further I've moved it up. It's from there to there. So see the rubber stop there? To where the float is. To call it five inches. Move it up. Just try it again. Nope, that is still under the water by about a look at it, a good six inches or more. So we'll do it again. You go up a bit further. Again. Up like that. Not far off that. I can almost see the tip. So go up a little bit more. Another three or four inches. Now this is just at my feet though. Right. Now that tip, you can't see it on there. I'll try and I'll point my rod tip towards it. Like that. Move you down a bit. don't know if you can make it out at all, but it is literally just under the surface there. Just under the surface, so... Bring you back. And that will do. Another few inches. Because when I fish on here, and I'm fishing for the bream, I like to be over depth. There we are, that's over depth now by... I'm going to say I'm over the depth there by about 3 inches, 4 inches. So, come down another inch. Like that. And there you go. You can just see the float there. It's just starting to cock. Just starting to cock up right. So that proves that I'm on the bottom and that my float's out of the water by a good 2 to 3 inches. Because you've got to think of the length of your float. So what we'll do, we'll come it down another inch just to show you how you can get it spot on. There's a nice fish just rose there. There you go. Now you see how my floats sat there, now you can see that. Proud as punch. And just showing, so that shows I am on the bottom nicely with a good inch or so of my float to spare. So if I was to fish now, where my hook is here, I would put a registration shot about three three inches from a hook somewhere like that 
and I probably put my float up by about another inch or so. But that is how easy it is to depth your swim. So you can see there, just at my feet, I mean, I don't know if you can see that, that's what? That's the length, that's from the top of my arm to my fingertips. So it's a fair old depth down there. That's just there at those tree line, that little bit. If I just do this in a minute, da -da -da -da, get you out of there. There you are. So that is how you get the depth of your swim with a plummet. All it is, like I say, no weight on your line because you don't want a false weight your float. You want your float to be flat when it's got nothing on it. Lock it in place with some rubbers if you want. You can lock it in place with some dust shot but you don't want it to register with your float because you want all the weight of the plummet to be the registration so that you can get that float to cock up and sit down to the depth that you want it at. Therefore you know that when you cast out when that float hits that depth when you've weighted all your float up correctly that's how you're going to be sitting on the bottom. So simple really. Plummet in the depth is one of the most basic things you can learn and it'll catch you more fish because if you can start fishing at the right depth for the water you're at for the right fish that you're after you're on to a winner just a quick little how-to video while i'm here at the bank i'm gonna have a crack for these bream you never know there might be a video of that as well going up best of luck lads tight lines see you on the bank